This was supposed to be played yesterday, everybody. And then Colorful felt really, really sick. Maybe he saw how amazing 1 to 0 was playing against Happy and just got scared. Because 1 to 0, 3 0 Happy yesterday. That is a thing that hasn't happened in three years. Infi was the last one on January 12, 2020, and now 1 to 0 did it. That was spectacular. But this is a different matchup. Colorful also. Little hiccup by Kao on map one, and then he beat him one, two, three in a row. And in this matchup, Colorful can do great things. The thing is, these guys were practice partners for a long time. And they know each other well. 1-2-0's timing pushes are super tough. Very hard to deal with. Also, two base play. Absolutely possible, even though 1-2-0 failed a little bit with the two base play recently. It was always exploited, it was always punished, especially by Warden. Colorful. Will he bring a heated Warden? He was able to take up a map of Happy in the group stage. And this is game number one. Winner bracket final, another best of five. Whoever wins three maps first is in the playoffs for Saturday. And once again, doubles the prize money to 1500 high stakes this of course means the winner of this game faces the runner up of group B which on paper is supposed to be an easier match but i guess if you're at this stage of the game it doesn't really matter. All these guys are so damn good, especially in this $20,000 tournament. 1-0 to zero left hand side. Expo or no Expo? That's the question. The DK of the Alta, not necessarily towards the south. And Colorful plays a keeper. No Warden on this map. Can still be super powerful with Treants and Entangle. And he confirms the ghoul build. That was all... That was clear. Everybody knew. 1-2-0 didn't necessarily know what hero it is. I think... Demon Hunter not necessarily the greatest choice here. Because that makes Undead expansions too easy. So you have to decide between Keeper and Warden. And now he confirms the Keeper. Sixth Acolyte. TP sold, Expo as is. He's kind of stubborn with this. Despite being punished so hard. He's still trying it. He still thinks this is the superior strategy. And Colorful must have a great idea of what's happening. Goes into Hunter's Hall immediately. This is the proper counter. Is this just a fake, though? No. He's trying. Wisp comes in. There's only one skull. Maybe he doesn't need more. Keeper takes a little bit of time. And 1 to 0 has to make a decision soon. Is it a haunted gold mine or not? Got the gold now. The lumber now. Huh? So far, no tech, no expo. Tech it is. But Colorful knows it. He saw it somewhere. So he's not going into mass hunts, AP push, but follows into tier two. Very important. Also that ghoul kill. Colorful seems hot today. Good scouting, good reactions, as it should be. And yeah, it was just a fake.
Hunter's Hall is already up, so this can lead to an early Ultra Vision, which is exactly what we see. And with a little bit of pressure onto the Ziggurat and Acolyte, he might take 1-0 to zero off the map, delay level 3, and then we're fine. Can you play Keeper 1 base, though? We could probably compare results to the group stage where these guys faced each other before. But we all know that that was not the real 1-0. to zero. He was clearly holding back. There's the expansion. Okay. There was to be expected. Instant scout by 1 to 0. But yeah, doesn't come as a surprise to anyone. Still a chance to expand on tier 2 or on the way to tier 3. Little problematic that he lost the acolyte 1 to 0. Because then he had to he has to rebuild one. That delays the tech. We don't even have a level 3 DK so far. Interesting. It is a big attack. Is there no Wisp? Ooh, against all these skeletons, they're coming in now. The coil was used. Colorful playing nicely around the timing of the coil. But the dodge on the skeleton to keep the pressure up. Nice cancel. 1-0 to zero once again on top of his game as it seems. But also colorful. Six saves on the Archer. Was that Wisp a little too far away? He's making this expensive. With yet two ghouls falling, another coil invested. Still no level three. Great saves by Colorful. And no deny. Keeper creeps up to 3.3. And no dust against these Shadow Melts. That's an oversight. But this lines up to be a great game. Gargoyle. For scouting and a little bit of piercing damage. This was expensive. And you can just expand again. Double engine of wind despite the hunter's hall. Which you don't necessarily need. And he cancels or he kills another acolyte here, is he? Yes, he is. Wow, this keeper is very strong now. Willing to fight. Unwilling to creep. Demon Hunter with slippers. Hunter is very good against the ground army due to AoE attacks. Air is still missing, but it's Entangle. Entangle, Entangle, Entangle. Can the Nova get some return kills? There's one. Now that it's daytime, you can't hide in the shadows anymore. Keep it running out of mana. Everybody's running out of mana. And 1 to 0 is expanding. I would judge this game still fairly 50-50. Even though there's very, very few units available for the undead. The tower is up. That will help with the defense. Demon Hunter has to retreat. Rest of the army is fragile. And it's Hippo's coming. Will this work? Looks like it. Expansion pretty much at the same time. Barely any flaws in the game so far when it comes to scouting and reacting to your opponent's game plans. Problem is, second hero levels, those will certainly be adjusted in a bit. But Colorful is leaving 1-0, to zero. no room to breathe at all. Ooh, is he 
Nice pressure on the keeper. That's supposed to be a town portal. It is. And that saves the haunted gold mine. There was... Could have been a timing without the keeper nuke. That this expansion still gets cancelled or severely hurt. How is that hippo rider not part of the town portal? I don't understand Warcraft 3 sometimes. Town portal gone, staff on cooldown. And expos running. Both of them. And now it's time to switch it to a different gear. Creeping is on the menu. Statue is there to replenish the mana. And the big item goes to the demon. But the shop goes to one to zero. Ooh, big fight. Gargoyles. They are, they are not the force you want anymore, is there? Needs the second crypt, maybe even third. And this is quite some air dominance. Kaiser! Thank you for the 22 month resub. Happy almost two years, Neo. Love you. Konnichiwa. This strat was played with an alchemist a little bit by Axel. The Gargs! Whew, coiled to the rescue. And he's willing to go into a Garg vs. Hippo match. Alchemist or Dreadlord can tip the scales in favor of 1 to 0. Panda could tip the scales in favor of Colorful. Hippos can at one point be completely useless if you switch to fiends again. In the very late game, this is tough to defeat for Colorful though. You can always switch to Thorns Aura in the direct fights, but then it's useless if the opponent switches to fiends. Or then you can also switch into hippos, but then all of a sudden you got like eight hippos that are useless. And 1 to 0 stays on tier 2 for a long time. He has the resources. Is he trying to prove a point? A storm is brewing. Upgrades coming. Potion and invo potion, heal scroll, another heal potion for colorful. He set at 60, 1 to 0 still greedy, now the tier 3. He doesn't want to fight, he won't engage in a fight if he can't prevent it. Clearly, 1 to 0. The longer the game goes, the better. But we have a stalemate breaker. And that's the north. That's the new version of Echo Isles. This is probably where the game is going to be decided. Attack upgrades, defend upgrades. And 1 to 0 knows exactly what his opponent is doing. Catches the DK, who just got a town portal. That's at least a free mana burn. Demon Hunter levels are worrying. And here's the big fight, is there? Oh, not yet. No, 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 not yet. You don't want to fight with 50 pop. You don't want to fight without a 30, or you don't want to fight without orb or level 2 Nova. Still needs to be crap. 1 to 0 is in fighting distance. 
but not really in fighting shape. Damage by Colorful is ridiculous in a bad way. And that's level 3 Demon Hunter. That's so huge. Another Hippo falling. It feels like Colorful is having a little bit of a better control here. Nova is no factor because there is no mana. Basically throughout the entire game. And it fe feels like Colorful is realizing this now as well. Lots of Entangle. Air Dominance. Expansion crept and set up. This is getting too expensive for 1 to 0. He stays at 50. He made it to tier 3. But that's about it. No tier 3 by Colorful yet. I can definitely see it soon though. He's floating resources. Little low on lumber. Scouts it. Sees the tier 3. There must be a reaction. Greedy, greedy 1 to 0. Needs Lich level 3 and needs mana! The Demon Hunter doing an exquisite job. As you see, Nova prevented once more. And what's an undead without Nova? Not much. There's the Coil Throne. It's on cooldown. It's just the entire screen is full of colorful. And it's two base, one base now. Uh, three base, two base now. Sorry. Such a rare phrase to say. Town portal available. Great utility. And whenever the undead doesn't want to fight, the base is available. Still no 30 year old. Switch to fiends now. I think this is long overdue. Feed getting sniped immediately. Lich is not in a good position. New Treants. Deforestation is real. Lich is kind of caught. Never getting the levels. Impressive performance by Colorful. So far at least. Staff is ready to get the Demon Hunter out in case there's a nuke, but there isn't. Still very little damage with only Hippo Riders, but Entangle. Treants. That's enough. He drained all the mana that can't be any heal anymore. At least he got the Lich to three. <laughs> the goggles were card, but uh, yeah, they're kind of stuck there, aren't they? What do you do? What do you do with these seven Garks? Yeah, good luck with that. Ooh, Coil Nova was big, did not dodge anything. And now the Demon Hunter is missing. That might be one Nova to use, finally. But Keeper also has more Entangle and they can't play Destroyers. Like, there's no way the Destroyer is, is efficient in this fight. Just has to run, exactly. Might get caught with a couple of webs, but it's, there's no Dispel. He's, he, what? He's wasting so much time, is he not? On the verge of tier 3. And now the hippos were gone chasing the destroyer. That means the gargs are free. Nicely salvaged. This could have been way worse. But 1 to 0 also lost 3 destroyers against nothing. And still won the game. So what does it matter? A thousand gold. 1200 on the other side. 2-2 two, two upgrades already. Garks harassing, super annoying. That's what they are, that's what they do. 1 to 0 needs to find a solution. Heal scroll, mana potion. For the first time in a long time, there's a chance for 1 to 0. Plays it really patient from an unwinnable position into a favorable position. Because Colorful is not spending his gold at the moment. 1600 gold. Does he have the forces? Bam! 
big dispel by the destroyer. Oh, the hippos are missing. They were on the right-hand side trying to defend the gargoyles. Colorful is fighting without half of his army. Here's the anti-air. That's big. Soaks up a handful of webs, too. But is there still a chance? Since this fiend transition, it feels like 1 to 0 is at home. More and more snipes. Can easily replenish them. Coil feels like it didn't do much, but bought some time. But the destroyers are once again out of the fight. And this is where Night Elf reigns. Level 4. On the second heroes, another fiend down. Level five on the DK. Statue providing so much. And where is Colorful's army? It's all gone. Oh my, the poor soul. Down to two base, two base. And all the air just disappeared. The fairies are gone. The hippo riders are gone. And the fiends win the game. He didn't get ready with a third engine of wind or a fourth engine of wind, like a lolliot would do. He was just banking. And got distracted by stoneform gargs and by harassing gargs. Ooh, that was a little sloppy and careless by Colorful. Just got overwhelmed. Can he rebuild? He has the resources, but does he have the time? That expo is gone. That can be the new undead home. It's one base, two base all of a sudden. This early game was so good. Maybe still not in the best pos uh, condition. As he had to postpone this game yesterday, being sick. Love how 1 to 0 never lost the composure. Always seeing the win condition. Always seeing his move to win the game. This is unstoppable. Nine fiends. 2-2. Two, two. Even the destroyers reign free. And yeah, this is this is not enough. Down with the tree. And that's number two. Outsmarted. And yes, of course, you can't be cheap. And say, oh, I'm dead OP. <laughs> Unwinnable coin over. But if one player uses his gold to build an army and the other player uses it to boost the number next to the gold coin to 2,000, then you shouldn't be surprised that the guy who spends his gold is winning. Kiting game looking good. Colorful still sees somewhat of a chance, but. Uh, Fiend control is too great. He picks apart this air army one after the next. Level five on both of these heroes. GG! One to zero takes it home after a rough early game. A rough mid game. Better decision making. Better decision making, better timings. Boom. And that's the game. Smart plays. Colorful was just unsure what to do at some point. The gargoyles were a little bit of a threat. But he certainly overcommitted to them. Attacking them while in stone form should never really happen. And then there was a lot of time. Destroyer on the left hand side was able to take care of all the treants. Then the hippos were distracted to the left-hand side and the gargs were able to move to the right-hand side. Colorful wasn't able to follow 1 to 0. He was just one step ahead. And that turned out to be a sick comeback indeed.
And the fiend transition killed him. There wasn't enough fairies because there were still so many hippos who didn't do anything. They were just chasing. Okay, Trunks, if you saw this game and you whine about undead, really? You should know better, dude. You should know better. Amazonia is next. The first map is always neutral ground, and then it's loser's choice. Away we go. Can Colorful bring it back? This is a Night Elf map. This is a Keeper map. This is pretty unexpandable. We need a Night Elf back to Warcraft Caster. Bro, I'm the biggest Night Elf fan. I'm standing Lawlight. I'm standing Kaho. I'm standing Kevin. Who else is there? I'm standing Razor Moon. Don't tell me I'm biased. No, 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 no. Colorful showed a great early and mid game. He was just outsmarted. Whoa! Demon Hunter first. Okay. Crazy fast level 3 of his uh, well, obviously possible. Oh, I forgot I'm standing Pato too. Demon Hunter first, instant level 2. Like, this is uh, almost unpreventable level 3. 1 to 0. He's tower pushing on this map. Sometimes. Most of the times, actually, in this matchup. This oftentimes feels like a throw. But I've seen it work. I wouldn't be too surprised if he does it again. He sold the town portal already. Starts with the claw. Doesn't go with the sack skull. Maybe just to confuse Colorful a little bit. We'll see the answer soon. If he's not tower pushing, this map is brutal. Tier 2. Okay, no tower push. And that should be a good position for Colorful then. It's still an Acolyte. Maybe they refined the strat. It's tier 2 now. I don't know. Night Elf is so strong. Super tough to crack the Expo. If there's an Expo coming. with well, this should. AZ Undead map. Ooh, okay. Wouldn't necessarily say so, but I certainly expected a keeper here. But it's colorful. He loves the Demon Hunter and he had great success with playing Demon Hunter one base. So who are we to judge? But the ghouls, they're chasing. And these archers are, for my taste, way too close to the ghouls, especially this one surrounded by five. But it's only one archer. Good block. Create some distance. And tier 2 just unfolds. Hunter's Hall seems late. 
But you can queue an expansion and make up for it. Which is usually positioned next to the lab, which is not entirely crept yet. Okay, not the super fast level 3 that we expected, but preventing the DK level 3 for quite some time, which is good. The biggest threat for Colorful is obviously... The push. And who? Naga second! That's good versus Archers. Naga second on both sides. As we haven't seen too much Naga mirror yesterday. Last hit should be impossible. But you don't want to lose too much HP on the demon. This is important. Acolyte down. Oh, this was just fodder, basically. Good delay, good controls. Wait, that a Naga dead. Demon Hunter hoping for evasion. Hoping for evasion. Oh no, town port loud. Needs to kill, needs to kill. Last bit of the Naga shot kills her off. Only level one though. But that's the Cobalt. Tier three, one base, Dryad's Bears. Oh no! Surround just like that! breaks out, but that was a lot of HP in a dicey situation. Feels like 1-2-0 is a little bit overwhelming right now. We don't have a staff. Naga is coming back. Uh-oh, Colorful, are you overextending? A bit? Oof, needs to start a step. One more Frostborn hit. One more hit is enough, but he walks it off thanks to Boots. Life saver. But that is a lot of moon juice now. Yeah, this game could have been over here. Right away. And since he doesn't use too much mana burn, he can heal efficiently. But 1-2-0 owns the map in the middle, it's clear. No deny. Oof, this is a rough game. On the Night Elf map. No fly! Wait, is that a repeat? <laughs> Groundhog Day on Amazonia? That's level 3 demon, okay. Colorful with a little exclamation mark, but we all know that 1 to 0 is just waiting for the push that's to come. And there it is. Frenzy about to be ready. Lich coming in. Resources for an orb will be there. And Colorful isn't ready at all. 40 pop. And outer lumber. He will be fighting in his own base, but does that really make such a big difference when there's a hundred mana on the moon wells? At least the Demon Hunter got the levels. What? Yeah, this Naga, since it's no Gargs, will pack a punch on levels. And 1, 2, 0 steps on the break a little bit. Waiting for the Destros to have a little bit of magic damage against uh, bears. And we split the map. Round and round and round it goes. When we will stop playing Amazonia, nobody knows.
Rune Braces would be excellent. Devotion Aura also not too bad. But it feels like a big advantage for 1 to 0. Heal Scroll, Potion, Invul, Orb. Off we go. If Colorful defends this, he might be in a solid spot. Well, it's gonna be tough. Demon Hunter needs to be excellent. But so far, he's controlled really well. The bear's gotta carry, the demon hunter gotta carry, the fork lightning needs to hit hard. But, oh, the one that's hit hard is the Naga! Out of position, Invo Potion forced immediately. This is not great. There is a potion, okay. But the bears who are supposed to be carried, one is out of the fight. The second one is staffed out. And there's only one remaining. The Dryads can do something. Oh, the heal scroll value is insane. 1 to 0 controls this really, really well. Even had the mana for a coil, for an offensive coil. And as you know, Undead doesn't need many units. It's oftentimes down to a statue and the heroes, and that's supposed to be enough. Colorful supply blocked after losing that Moonweather as well. That is a problematic situation for the Night Elf to be in. That wasn't the greatest engagement. Nova prevented, that's fine. But now, this is desperate times, desperate measures. Okay. Fiends are being borrowed. This requires some labyrinth control, but no way. GG 2 0. And not really a big chance, was there? Throughout the entire game. Amazonia goes to 1 2 0 as uh, the first one did as well. Quite rough. How do you bounce back from this? The Night Elf map Amazonia goes to 1 to 0. The one base play didn't really work out. It felt like 1 to 0 was in control almost the entire day. Just a frenzy push. Simply frenzy push. Felt a little uninspired by Colorful. And now he's with his back against the wall. Three match points. One to zero. After ending up last in the group stage. Didn't drop a single map in the playoffs. And that is versus Happy and Colorful. Who took a map off of Happy. Desperate times, that's for sure. What are the desperate measures? I think on Concealed, I would just play Demon Hunter again. Here he was really good with that. Here he can level, uh, creep level 3 reliably after the initial harass. This is colorful has to win. Otherwise, he finds himself in the lower bracket with Kaho and Happy. And he switches to a keeper. Okay, not something I expected.
playable for sure. Kao and Colorful at the same time switched back a little bit to keep her mass air. After being quite successful with Demon Hunters. Is it the moon style? Aggressive keeper into the base with a staff. Point to zero didn't get information on the first hero yet. Quite important. He will be able to confirm this in a bit, of course, but it's a little uncertainty. Soul TP, as is the new norm for Undead. Orcs have been doing it for a long time. Okay. Keeper gets level 2. How aggressive is he playing this? Usually the damage against Undead can be done in the early game. Colorful is nowhere near. One to zero can creep as he wants to. And that's not a good thing. Splitting the map against Undead is... I don't know. I mean, it leads to a fast level three. It's just... A, maybe it's just a different approach... ...from what we've seen in the past. But maybe there's also a reason for this. There's the staff. There's the aggression. But there's counter aggression on the other side. With a lot of ghouls. Oof. But yeah, if there's no ghouls in the main, they can't be attacked by a keeper. Sometimes Warcraft is as simple as that. Get... Okay, gets a ghoul for two entangles, and now he's at home, needs to repair, but the ghouls are ravaging these wisps. One is dead, has to be detonated, the second one killed as well. Entangle on the DK is not necessarily what you want, you want to do the damage early. Archer's falling, moon will falling. This doesn't look like... Uh, peak colorful performance thus far. Invis archer wall, that was sweet! And slowly but steady, there's quite some ghouls falling, but this is... Oh no, the moon was dead. Ay, 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 ay. And a deny on top. Levels are even... Colorful, I guess he lost so much that he can at least get a second hero? Brutal game. Still wants to play this. One to zero has a problem that his graveyard is late. Whoops. And this time we play it a little slower with the Lich second. But being supply stuck at 30 with a timing based build is not great. You want to expand with this strategy. I don't see that happening. The counter aggression worked beautifully. One to zero is delayed a little bit for sure. Instant scout on that expansion, even though it's nighttime, maybe he didn't see it. Staff. Yep. Bottom right hand side is free. Keeper could prevent the staff, but he's just. Huh? 
Standing there for five seconds, not the greatest sign. At least some time. Due to the heavy wisp usage, lumber is low. That prevents the second engine of wind. And we've seen DK Lichurasses being quite effective. I like this poking play by Colorful. At least keeps the DK and the Lich away from the expansion. But we all know that the timing is going to be frenzy. Fly. <laughs> oh, I think, I, th I think Fly knows the outcome of this match. But Colorful is trying absolutely everything he can. And that's good. He gets an Acolyte during the tech. Which is still one third, like 400 gold maybe. And more time. More mana with a potion. Only level 2 DK. There are quite some arguments to be made that Colorful might be able to turn this around. It pours poor colorful. Two archers down and the Magi went to him as well. He's just staffing out and saves him with freaking four HP. Peak creepjack right here. That was sick. That was a slap in colorful's face. With a fist. In the groin. How can he flip the switch from one week to the next? It's like a whole different person compared to the next level. Next level? Last week, I mean. And this was not the scary part. We don't have Frenzy. But we get Wisps already as he knows that fairies are coming. Colorful has some issues creeping this tree. And this is Rad Spots up for grabs. This is Web coming. This is probably the Drake on the right hand side. And a Claws plus 12. <laughs> the Frog is blocking the Lich. At least the Keeper has good damage. And one to zero is not overpacing. Why would he? Just expand. Play two base, two base. You know you got good heroes. You know you got the late game army. And no overwhelming items. This far for Colorful, but he's pulling the tricks. Invis Potion on the Keeper. Great for scouting. And Colorful is banking again. Trying to be greedy. Going for the flybys. There is no... Spirit Tower, I think? Nope. Okay. Okay. That opens up the map a little bit because 1 to 0 has no TP. Has to go to the shop. That's quite some seconds. Oh, Spirit Tower perfectly ready. God damn. This young man is pretty good. 
Wow, is he ready with the army after the air defense? He is. He saw this coming. I mean, as I said, practice partners, they know what the other is doing. Is it still? A is he still able to kill this? Probably. But at what cost? Not much, actually. That's pretty fine for colorful, I'd say. Yeah, like two fair, like two units. Oh, <gasps> oh, and a keeper. Mm. Just when you thought that there's a good move, and he's coming back into the game. He's not he, he's not respecting Coral Nova. Always respect the coil and the Nova. And he has he had like 1300 gold. He can just TP. It's not the end of the world. And now you got to wait 90 seconds for the keeper to come back. Full HP to one second to dead. Guess what? An intelligence hero is running alone towards the enemy base without any support and with a way to get out. And you lose this hero. So who's to blame? With the town portal and the staff. Come on, guys. You can't be serious. I like that colorful trying to create new fires on the map. This is risky. This is greedy. But he has to take these risks. In fights, he can't match 1 to 0 today. He has to play it with strategy and has to fix his flaws. If it takes one second to kill a level 3 hero, something is wrong. Yeah. What's wrong is that you don't use your town portal. And that you send a squishy intelligence hero with not too much HP and not too much armor towards the enemy base where you know there's Coil Nova already. Even twice. That's wrong. But yeah, e e economic lame style. That's what Colorful is trying to play. Ah, uh, come on, fly. That's a fiend for free. And this air army is really annoying in the best way possible. Constantly disrupting. Constantly forces them back. And now using the town portals and now spending his gold on items as you're supposed to. First attack upgrade ready. Ready to... Well, even to 100. Soonish. Tree still not moving. It's a little odd. Quite some wasted time. Looks like a ghoul run by on the right hand side, plus a defense on the left hand side. Second defense upgrade. Man, these fiends upgrade always on 1 to 0. 
in almost all matchups, add so much value to them. Close to 5-4. Frost Armor, now Dark Ritual, and a Flute. The Destro is ready for the defense, the towers are up, and there's fewer and fewer positions to attack. There we go, another Fiend caught, nice. Oh, is it enough? He's throwing a lot of damage at that. 10 supply lead, but a weaker army. Tier 2, Night Elf only. Destroyer, how long can he stay in that fight? No Devour, two Destroyers even. Statue a little bit mispositioned, but fixed in no time. No Kiting by 1 to 0 at all. Now he's starting it. There's still an Invo Potion on the Demon. Undead Army all over the place. A quick Devour, nicely done. Demon Hunter trying to get out of greedy again. Nope. You don't defend the middle anymore, do you? Colorful burn through his 2k bank as he's on the way to tier 3. Still has the big mana, still has who's that in wool. But similar situation on 1 to 0, who has better upgrades, better units, better tech, more supply. You kind of want to overwhelm with this mass air. Is it enough mass? Is the question. Three fiends. Almost down, there we go. Web all over the place. Colorful has to brute force this. This was such a big investment in time and resources for the stalemate breaker base. And then he has a good position. Fiends are falling quickly. Still the big mana potion. Absurd. Lich close to five. Oh my god, how much did one to zero kill? There it is. Coil Nova three unlocked. And it feels like one to zero is not losing much. The fiends all move to the north. The statues, okay, they will fall, but the time investment is just crazy. Lich lines up a Nova soon. Goes for the Demon Hunter. He has an Invo Potion, but how do you save this Keeper? You don't as he dies with the Town Portal for the second time. This felt like Colorful still affected by the flu he caught yesterday or the sickness he got yesterday. He can do better. This was very one-sided here today, and 1-2-0 advances to the round of four without dropping a single map. Top 8 group stay, or top 8 playoffs, 3-0 happy, 3-0 colorful. Exclamation mark, raised fist, 1-2-0 is not fooling around anymore. This is not round robin group stage anymore. This guy is here to dominate. And that's exactly what he did. Versus Happy and also versus Colorful. Colorful no match today, but he has another day to recover. And he'll be back tomorrow playing the winner of Kaho and Happy. Next up is the decision. The first decision in group B. And that is the legendary matchup of Moon and Lin. The two... Highest earners in Warcraft 3 history. Two Korean legends facing each other. Night Elf vs. Orc. And we'll be there in just 3 minutes 30.